Hi, this is Rashita from Paraprint. On this channel, I give tips and inspiration for 3D printing fashion at home. Today, I'm super excited to go over the digital steps to create a 3D printed kimono with you. kimono that we're going to be talking about. Caveat is I can't go through the whole design process because it takes hours and hours and hours to make this design. So instead I want to show you my steps and my way of thinking. The first step is making a pattern base to size, which is just the outline of whatever fashion pattern you're picking. I've always wanted to make a kimono and so a while ago I bought a pattern book and whilst I never actually got the chance to sit behind the sewing machine I thought actually this is a great 3D printing project. And so the first step for me was to take a picture of the outline in the pattern book and upload that onto Illustrator and then in Illustrator I traced the outlines of the pattern and I imported those curves in Rhino and that's what you see here. Unfortunately, this wasn't accurate enough because you're never able to take a picture perfectly straight. In the end, I had to measure the paper outfold that comes with the pattern book and literally recreate every single measurement digitally. Pattern books usually break up the pattern in order to create curves or to fit the design onto a textile or even to combine different textiles within one design. In case of the latter two, you actually want to reattach these pattern outlines in order, as we call it in sewing, to make the pattern whole again. The second step is to break up your pattern into squares that are the size of your build plate minus a certain amount. My build plate is 30 by 30 centimeters and I divvied up the pattern in squares 28 by 28 centimeters. The third step is to design your connector pieces and the hole that they're going to weave through. The kimono is using a two-part modular system, which means on one side of the pattern piece you only have a female connector, whereas on the other pattern piece you only have a male connector. The way that I designed this is I put two pattern pieces that I want to connect next to each other and I start creating holes of some type. And then on top of that, in a different layer so that everything else is locked, I start making the male connectors that weave through these holes. And this is obviously simple when it comes to straight pattern pieces, but it can get quite complex when you need to go around a corner or when you want some part to stand up. Like for example, the collar was an absolute challenge. This is what the connecting pieces look like. Fourth step is to then actually copy your module all over the pattern where you need them. And I highly recommend printing it out and trying it on a small scale so that you sh you know that it's gonna work and that it's strong enough for what you're planning. So in case of the kimono, this is what that looks like. You can get incredibly creative with this. For part of the sleeves, I've actually used shuriken as connecting pieces, which are definitely not as strong as the other connectors but I felt like it was a badass thing to add to a 3D printed kimono. So there you go. That is the digital part of the design. So for the printing and the assembly of the kimono, I'll make another video to let you know. Yeah, I think I'm slightly crazy for spending so much time on designing connectors. Totally understand, but I absolutely love the puzzle. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want me to get more tips about 3D printing wearable projects. Happy printing and see you in the next one.